morning, Southwest Florida. I'm Paige Godfrey. The St. Louis World Morning Report is sponsored by Condition Air, the comfort people since 1962. This morning, we'll tell you about tigers being removed from a Buddhist temple. Governor Rick Scott held a ceremonial bill signing and more. Today is Wednesday, June 1st, and this is the Morning Report. Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell says that while presumptive Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump is a phenomenon and political outsider, he has earned the right to the GOP nomination and the party support. McConnell says he does not believe Trump is changing the Republican Party in a fundamental way, but instead is helping the party reach out to voters who have not lately voted for Republicans that McConnell says will make the Republican ticket competitive in November. Wildlife officials have removed more of the 137 tigers kept in a Buddhist temple that operated as an admission-charging zoo and is suspected of illegally trafficking in the animals. The director of Thailand's Wildlife Conservation Office said 40 tigers were tranquilized and removed in two days. They are being taken to government animal shelters elsewhere in the country. You can read more about it at NaplesHerald.com. Back in April, Governor Rick Scott signed HB 989 into law, creating an annual dedicated source of funding to protect Florida's environment. The funding includes up to $200 million for Everglades restoration, among other projects. On Tuesday, Governor Scott held a ceremonial bill signing at Audubon's Corkscrew Swamp Sanctuary. The legacy Florida bill goes into effect July 1st. And that was the Morning Report for today. I'm Paige Godfrey. The Morning Report airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our lunch break that also airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. Thank you for watching.